everyone, it's Noelle, and today I wanted to bring you kind of a makeup look that I've been playing around with. It's more of an eye enlargening tutorial. So I already prepped my face by cleansing and exfoliating and moisturizing, as well as my lips. So let's get started. As you know, I always use my Wet n Wild Mink Brown Eyebrow Eyeliner Pencil, and I'll be using that to fill in my brows. Now I'm taking my spoolie brush and I'm just going to comb through my brows and take out all the harsh edges. Now I'm going to take my Smashbox 24 hour shadow primer and just apply that all over my eyelids and under and around them. So there's not a whole lot of eyeshadow to this look, but you want a little bit to give your eyes a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to be using this shimmery nude color from a little tiny e.l.f. palette that I have. You can kind of tell, but it's kind of bare. Now I'm going to take kind of like a taupey color and I'm going to start using that along the crease line to deepen the eyes a little bit more. So from the same little e.l.f. palette, I'm going to try and take a mix of both of these colors to make the color that I'm looking for. I'm just going to kind of shush it in there. And you'll want to blend that out really well. Next I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and it's in the Cottage Cheese color. I'm going to take it in the inner corners as well as under the waterline just along the lash line there so it gives it kind of like a little pop of shimmer and I think it's really cute if you kind of have it not really thin but kind of chunky so this is a NYX <clears throat> uh, eyeliner and it's the white color and like I said I'm just gonna take it in the waterline right there and that'll help make your eyes pop now I'm gonna take the NYX eyeliner in black and I'm gonna use it to line well tight line rather the upper waterline Whenever I tight line, I usually go like three quarters of the way over. I usually don't line all the way to the inner corner. It's just not comfortable for me. And that's that. Both eyes. Using my Catrice liquid liner. It's the waterproof formula. It's called Don't Leave Me, which I believe is what they call their black color but things are gonna get a little crazy. We're gonna make a really wide cat eye. I couldn't find my Stila, which is my favorite. So I made kind of like a medium thick line. I'm using that edge of the brush tip, rather than the tip itself, to help cover more ground until I get to the outer corner, which is when I'll start utilizing the tip more. So that's that, and now we're gonna make our wing. So I did like kind of a double wing, and I'm gonna just fill in that little space that I left on the top lid. There, it's really chunky. This is not for the weak or faint of heart. Don't worry too much if you think that your eyeliner is like the teeniest bit uneven. Um, you'll probably spend hours trying to make the perfect wing and it's just not worth it. So if it's just like a smidge off, so what? You can cover it up with false lashes anyway. Um, that's something I'm not going to do today only because I have other stuff that I need to get done. And um, yeah, lashes are kind of a pain in the butt. So because I'm not going to be wearing false eyelashes for this look, at least not today, um, I probably normally 
would, but I, like I said, I have other crap that I want to do. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to curl and then prime and then I'm going to be using a different um, formula today only because I ran out of my regular formula that I normally use. Crap! <laughs> so let's curl those lashes. So now I'm taking my e.l.f. mascara primer. I love this stuff. It just makes your mascara come off so easy. So top and bottom lashes. This is the Maybelline Great Lash. Um, it's actually in brownish black, which I don't do. I'm going to top and bottom lashes. So that's lashes done. Now here's the part where you could put on false eyelashes, but since the eyeliner that I used, even though it's waterproof, the formula breaks down whenever I put my lash glue on top of it, so I'm really not wanting to try that, but I will give you a little taste of what an eyelash over top of this look will look like. So I did not use glue, but this is the Harajuku Honey Dolux um, false eyelash. I literally just laid it on top. but. If you use like a really crazy eyelash, it would make your eyes look so much bigger. And if you really wanted to go crazy, you could also use bottom eyelashes, but I'm actually pretty happy with how my bottom lashes turned out. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish my face uh, makeup by using some of my foundation primer. This is the Bare Minerals Prime Time that I've used in all my other videos. And now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clean Foundation, and I'm going to use a stipple brush to apply that. And I don't know, does anybody else just beat it on the back of their hand like I do? That would have been crazy. I actually did end up buying a concealer palette. It's from e.l.f. and it's in their light shade. I really want to put more emphasis on the eyes, and even though I feel like I don't have a lot of imperfections, I do want to brighten them a little bit. So I'm going to take these lighter peachy shades and not so much the yellower shades. Hey, how you doing? It's like camera reception. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just going to make little triangles under my eyes. Kind of kind of just brighten that area up a little bit. And I will be kind of covering this area too because that's where my glasses rest. I'll just take my stipple brush and kind of like shush that out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give my face a little bit of color because I look like a freaking ghost right now. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. blush palette and I'm probably going to take a little bit of this and a little bit of this and create something beautiful. I'm going to take my e.l.f. tone correcting powder and I'm going to apply that over my face to set it. And something that I forgot to do, I will be taking my e.l.f. eyebrowler, eyebrowler, that's the word, my eyebrow lifter and filler and I'm going to take the ivory side underneath more about the eyes. I'm going to just keep the lips pretty neutral. I'm going to take this e.l.f. Hyper Shine Gloss and it's in the color Bare. I'm just going to apply that to my lips. I think this is a pretty cute look whether it be for Lolita or not and I hope you guys think so too. So until next time,
much anywhere that you have eyes. And I dropped the cap. My light is so bright. So now I'm gonna take my, wait a second. And now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clean, oh my goodness. And I actually did buy a concealer palette. Um, it's from e.l.f. It's in the light shade. I'm really great at dropping things. Oh my gosh, I look like a ghost. This brush is like really soft. I swear I'm not sponsored, but I freaking love how cheap e.l.f. is. I told you I'm not, I'm not good at this whole applying makeup in front of the camera thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Why the fuck am I wearing a freaking mask? 